Okay, let's begin with a little bit of history. When the U.S. was at, was at its peak, most of the economy was actually manufacturing. In the 1950s, the good old days, we had wife beating and factory jobs. A black man without a fucking college degree could work a 40-hour work week, have a house, a car, a wife, and two fucking kids. Think about that. A fucking black man in the 1950s is more privileged than us. <laughs> okay, I, I know that came off a little bit racist, but that, that's not my intention, okay? It's kind of like a joke, but you get the point. The point still remains. That was a time when the attention economy was just starting to grow. It was bad back then too, don't get me wrong. Um, think about the cigarette advertisements. But content consumption back then was a very small part of people's lives. Smaller than wife beating. <laughs> when the attention economy started to develop, corporations started to realize that they can make infinite money with a good that has zero marginal cost, which basically means you can produce another unit of it for free. So basically, once you have the initial investment of, I guess, content, um, like once you make an advertisement, you can just replicate it forever for free. And that's weird if you think about it, because once you make enough profits to recuperate your costs, you can technically make infinite profits. Nothing really stops you. Uh, this is part of the reason I oppose things like um, uh, just content in general. Forget about intellectual property and all that shit. I just oppose content. Right? And when the attention economy started to develop, a shift started to happen. Manufacturing jobs went out of the US and advertising and content took over. Uh, and porn, I guess. Porn has taken over as well. Holy fuck. Um, I'll, I think porn is single-handedly porn is single -handedly the most consumed thing in the world today, but I'll discuss this later. F fucking hell, man. Everything today is an ad. Everything today tries to capture your attention and persuade you to buy something. Everything has an incentive to be as sensational as possible. This is why everything has become so polarized as well, if you think about it. And sexual. Okay, uh, th like even now we got Roblox games going sexual. Okay, oh uh, 3 a.m. Roblox sex prank. All right, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? And here is where I would like to talk about books. You see, books are words. It is hard to make a book super sensational. Books, by their very nature, are calm and intelligent. Rhetoric influence is limited when you are reading a book. Sure, you can write in capital letters and exclamation marks, and you can write a little bit of jokes, but for the most part, emotion is very calm when somebody is reading. And the same way, it is harder for authors to capitalize on emotion when they are writing. You are not emotional when you are reading. You are calm, and you can analyze what you are reading with a clear mind, no matter how hard the author author tries, the use of rhetorical devices, um, shit like giving a flamboyant speech, you know, where you can r change the volume of your voice, change your tone, uh, use hand gestures and shit, get people really riled up, um, read Aldous Huxley's, um, propaganda and Hitler. He, he actually wrote a piece about this and how, um, when people are in crowds, they become the crowd, and it's a lot easier to influence them then. So you got like a dictator, Hitler, giving a speech to a large crowd. People almost lose sense of self and just get riled into the emotion of the crowd. It is impossible to do that in a book, but it is very possible to do that in a speech or a fucking Twitch channel. Books are also written with a certain standard. Professionals have standards, okay? Books are intelligent. And I mean, okay, nowadays, sure, there are some weird books. Don't get me wrong. There are some books that, you know, they'll use swear words. They'll use um, colloquial language and whatnot. But for the most part, books have standards and are calm. Ads and online content are not at all held to the same standards as books. You are free to use anything. Um, softcore pornography, extremely bright colors, um, suggestive images and shit like that. Uh, softcore pornography. Softcore not for softcore. Por fuck, I can't even speak. Softcore pornography is a real thing, okay? And I think we need to expand its definitions and be honest with it. Because truth be told, every time you open up Instagram, and if you're following like a couple meme pages, I actually used to do this until I unfollowed everything on Instagram and deleted it. Um, every time I opened up Instagram to check my messages, I would see softcore porn. It is utterly ridiculous how full of it these fucking sites are. Holy shit. Every advertisement uses some kind of sexual imagery. 
This is just fact, okay? And they use it because it is, to some degree, pretty effective. You get to tap into the innate human, um, like, lust or whatever the fuck. It's kind of like sugar, right? Sugar is everywhere in food nowadays. And softcore porn includes the entire modeling agency, okay? Uh, now, modeling is pornography. I'm sorry. Uh, th j just think about it, okay? Clothes, modeling clothes. Why does a woman who is modeling a, a, a piece of clothing, why does she need to wear kilograms of makeup? and be um, posing in some weird ass way. Why does there need to be like Photoshop and editing and shit like that? Why? Like, what, what, why, right? They're trying to persuade you. So it, it is softcore pornography. Don't fucking, I don't, I'm not, okay. the purpose of advertising is not to inform. It is to uninform you, okay? It's to persuade you to buy something you don't need. And associating the product with some kind of sexual urge is a fantastic way to do that. This is why models are, um, they have like a certain shape requirement they need to be, um, they wear a lot of makeup. There's a lot of photo editing involved. Um, the cameras are, the pictures are taken like a thousand times and the best one is selected. This is all, this is softcore porn. This, and it's fantastic for selling stuff, especially clothes. This is why the woman wearing a jacket or whatever is super hot. So hot that it is literally impossible to look like that. Even they don't look like that. Kilograms of makeup and a lot of photoshopping. Uh, image editing. Uh, uh, proprietary garbage. Okay, whatever. You cannot just have a normal ass woman in an advert just wearing the clothes in a normal ass way. No, it has to be sensational as fuck. And honestly, there are things that should be fully banned. And in my opinion, advertisements is kind of one of them. Uh, ads are a cancer in society, okay? They are an invasion of personal space every time you're outside. Think of um, the MRT, the train, or the, the fucking, the, the street walk or whatever. You see an ad. What is an ad? Okay, it is literally something in your face saying, hey, buy this product. Like, get the fuck, fuck off, man. This is intrusive, this is vile, and it is a sickness, okay? And we do not want it, okay? It's deviant. And do not want this sickness. This is sick, and it's therefore deviant. We do not want it. Once you see past what an ad really is, you start to get sick of it. In fact, nowadays, the more advertised something is, the more reluctant I am to buy it because it just makes me skeptical. I'll give you an example. Think about Manscaped. Manscaped is a fucking garbage product, but it's shoved down everybody's face on YouTube. Think about Raycon. These products are garbage. You know the best thing to shave your balls? It's a fucking straight razor, man. It's true. Trust me. You just need to learn to use it, okay? Just... Trust me, guys, it's the best. Same thing with politics, okay? Everybody wants to see somebody get destroyed by facts and logic. Th this is the Ben Shapiro meme, okay? This is why he got so famous. He would debate unprepared college students, and everybody thought he was mega intelligent or something. But to, to Ben Shapiro's credit, at least he has real discussions now. Um, I think he actually debated um, Cosmic Skeptic, which... I mean, shit, dog, I, I, credit to that, I guess. But you, you get the point, right? No one wants to see a full two-hour conversation about one issue. They want to see a 60-second clip of two idiots screaming at each other. And the sad part is, most of the time, these idiots are actually pretty smart. They have a lot of stuff to say. So it's not even that they're idiots. You see, this era of content is just fucking horrible. Now let's talk about everybody's favorite topic, pornography. Oh, shit. I think this thing makes up more than 70% of the whole internet. Wow, we are, we are really fucked, guys. And okay, again, not trying to be some, uh, like, conservative or whatever. I, I do try to approach this from an unbiased point of view. Porn is bad for your brain. That's just a fucking fact, okay? That's right, people. This shit reduces the amount of gray matter in your brain and literally makes you less productive. It messes with your brain, and now this is the black point part for everyone, okay? With an FFMRI scan, okay, a, a physiological difference can be detected in your brain. That's right, guys. There is literally a fucking test that can tell whether or not you use porn regularly, okay? This, there is such thing as a porn drug test, okay? <laughs> and if you wank, like regularly, I hope I persuaded you to stop. If I haven't, I'll leave some links and videos in the description. And while we are on it, like I said, every time you open up Instagram, there is a trigger to put you back into that addiction cycle. Everything today is sexual. So sexual that Generation Z is literally like, hey guys, can we have like less sexual material on the screen? Can we calm the fuck down with this stuff? It's, gen it's getting out of hand to the point where even kids are like, yo, we, we need to dial the fuck back. Because I'm gonna tell you a funny joke. Back in the day, when you had those forms, and um, you had to put in your gender, and it would say sex. Uh, all the girls would take the female option, and the boys would scratch out both options and write, yes, please. We are literally in the generation where the opposite happens. They're like, no, it's too much, okay? 
everything is a trigger for you today to binge back into that addiction. And if you're somebody who has a problem with this, I feel sorry for you, man. Good motherfucking luck. <laughs> And yes, we basically need to destroy the whole big tech monopolies and the pharma monopolies and the farming. Okay, all of them. Holy shit. We need to get rid of this shit. We all gotta live on the fucking countryside and we all need to be farming bros. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Um, ads are cancer and have a nice day.